Hey everybody, this is Rich with Gaming News, Reviews, and Tips. And uh, today I'm going to continue my deep dive into, or maybe my shallow dive into DCS World. A game I've been absolutely loving. I'm definitely a beginner in this uh, way. Great community, lots of videos out there, but uh, there's a lot to learn in this game and I thought it would help contribute. So today what I'd like to cover is just a, a very brief introduction into the radar system. Uh, it's fairly complicated and complex, so I want to break it down into some smaller pieces. Uh, just so that you can see how I'm approaching learning the radar system, specifically in the F-18 and DCS world. So let's go ahead and uh, load up just an instant uh, mission here, uh, basically a quick play. And what I'd like to cover in this brief introduction uh, to the radar system are basically some of the controls and how, specifically how the weapon system select switch and the uh, sensor select switch are kind of integrated together. They kind of play off of each other. So let's just quickly take a look at some of the important keys that you're going to need and key bindings that you're going to need to have for this session. So first of all, you're going to want your sensor select switch and your weapon select switch all bound. So if we take a look here, sensor select switch. All right, so we've got our sensor. So uh, sensor select switch, we've got sensor select switch aft, forward, left, and right. You're going to want to make sure that you have those ready and at hand. And then we're also, so that's your sensor control switches. And then it's really integrated with the weapon system. So you need to have key bindings for your select AMRAM, select gun, sidewinder, and sparrow. So let's go ahead and take a look how these uh, things play together and how they work. I'm going to quickly just kind of zoom in here a little bit. Perfect. So we can see both the uh, radar and our heads up display. So when we're looking at the radar in free flight, uh, usually when you're scanning for a long range target, you're learning or you're using what's called range while search. So if you take a look on the radar here, you'll see RWS. So we're in range while search mode. Basically what we're doing right now is looking for long range targets. So targets that we'd be trying to hit with a longer range missile. So if I use my weapon select switch to go not only to my sidewinder, but also to my AMRAMs and also to my Sparrow, you can, say that we're, you can see that we stay in range while search mode. Right now, we don't have a target locked up and we're just scanning the horizon either with our eyes and with our radar to look for targets, distant targets. Now ideally what we would do is we would use this range while search or our other long range uh, scanning modes to lock up a target um, using this radar here. We're gonna cover that in another lesson or in another uh, video. Right now, I just wanna show you how the buttons play together. So you can see we have our weapon select switch again. We've got our weapon select switch for Sidewinders, AMRAMs, and also for our Sparrow missiles. And the whole time that we did that, it was always on range while search. What happens though is, say we have a target that comes in close and we start to dogfight. Well, now we want to be able to lock onto them easy. And uh, one of the best ways to do that, or one of the ways to do that, is to use your sensor select switch and push it forward. And if you do that, there's going to be a few things that happen. We're basically going to enter co close combat mode. So I'm going to go ahead and push the sensor select switch forward, and you're going to see two things happen. The HUD changed, or the heads-up display changed, and our radar changed into uh, ACM mode. So essentially, this is a close range combat mode, ACM mode. And so we've switched our radar into a different format and our HUD is different. Now we can see we have this dotted line going around here. Now this is gonna act uh, to be able to lock up a target. So for example, right now we're on our Sparrow missiles. So if we get a target in here in this uh, circle, we'll, we'll be able to lock them up. And so you can see now if I switch between any of my missiles, I stay in ACM mode. So if I'm in my uh, sidewinders, if I'm in my AMRAMs, or if I'm in my Sparrow missiles, I can switch between them all. You can easily switch back and forth between uh, these different modes, whether it be uh, ACM mode and uh, RWS mode. Uh, so say you've downed your target and uh, you were finished dogfighting and now you want to scan the horizon again, all you have to do is push your undesignate and then you're going to go back to range wall search. So basically your long range search mode. And this works for all the weapons. So I'm just going to cycle through to show you here. Uh, right now we're on Sidewinder. I can easily push forward on the sensor select switch. And you can see we've entered ACM. 
uh, mode. Same thing for the AMRAMs. I'm going to undesignate and we are now in range while search. I can push forward on the sensor select switch and then we are into combat maneuvers mode. And if I press uh, undesignate again and go up to the sparrow, you can see we're range while search forward on the sensor select switch and now we're in ACM mode. So the essential, the differences there are we've got two different uh, radar modes, one for close combat, ACM, and one for long range or for range while search. Now, just to wrap things up here, if we push <clears throat> and select our gun, we only get ACM mode. And that's simply because, you know, when you're dogfighting and using your gun, you're going to be in close combat. You're not going to be scanning the horizon to try and knock them out at 20 or 30 nautical miles or even further uh, with your gun. Uh, so again, you can see that now I can change it so that I'm scanning here uh, with my undesignate switch. But again, the, you definitely want to make sure that you are in ACM mode with your gun here. Uh, so again, uh, you can see that the weapon select switch and sensor select switches are integrated. I hope this has helped you out. And if you do, give me a like down at the bottom and uh, hope to see you in DCS world. Great game.